How's that? Uh, so OnePlus Watch. Okay, let's look at this OnePlus phone real quick. Okay, so we've got OnePlus phone. Uh, so it's the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro, right? Um, 8.7 says the CNET. Uh, they like the fact that it's beautiful and it's classy. Okay, it's subjective. Vibrant pin sharp display. Seems like it would have to have that. Masses of processing. What does that mean? I mean, <laughs> um, coherent, typically large body of matter? No. Uh, I think they meant massive processing power. Uh, you know, proofreading, copy editing, editorial, just all by itself is a, is a dead, dead art form. Exceptionally fast charging. Okay, they don't like no expandable storage. I think everybody better get used to that. Like now that Samsung has done it and it's not going to... <laughs> It's not gonna. St it's not gonna go away. I, I don't think anybody else is gonna do it anymore. If Samsung's not gonna do it, battery life could be better. Okay, but then you've got exceptionally fast charging, so comes out a wash. Uh, cameras don't hit the high water mark that other features do. Okay, now this is all coming from somebody who's. I don't know why she's holding a Galaxy Fold in that picture, but anyway, they've obviously had their hands on the phone. I have not had my hands on the phone. Um, two new phones that also introduced the OnePlus Watch, which goes up for pre-order on April 14. Um, okay, we've seen LG watches, we've seen uh, Samsung watches, we've seen, I think every major manufacturer of Android phones has made a watch. And they are not well samsung still makes watches but nobody cares nobody cares uh there's not to me like i i don't dislike the gear whatever they're calling them now they're not gear watches anymore i mean there's something to be said for for branding um i don't dislike them but they don't add the same kind of value that an, that an apple watch does for me so i'm not going to pay i'd pay 150 dollars for a samsung watch i don't think i'd pay 150 dollars for a oneplus watch i can guarantee you i wouldn't pay uh, I, I mean i'd take one for free if they were giving it to me but here's the problem that i see with this with this phone the oneplus 9 pro which i think is the only one currently available like that we know of in the United States is over a thousand dollars. And what do we know about thousand dollar phones? Thousand dollar phones are, you know, I, the thousand dollar phones are at this point, the, the privilege of brands like Apple and Samsung, everybody else has to fight for the scraps in the sub hundred and sub thousand dollar market. And I don't even know if Apple and Samsung will be able to keep that threshold because as we've talked about before, smartphones have become commodities. You know, OnePlus is slapping the Hasselblad name on the back of this. They're licensing the Hasselblad name, okay? I don't know if the people from Hasselblad came in and like tuned their things or whatever. They licensed the Hasselblad name. I don't know much more about the camera. I haven't seen a single picture taken by the camera. I don't, but Hasselblad is valuable to OnePlus only because of the name, right? Same way that, you know, the same way that Samsung likes to leverage AKG with their headphones. Well, I mean, nobody, nobody, you know, puts two and two together and, and, and says, oh, well, Samsung also owns AKG, so they could do whatever they want. But it's true, they do. Samsung owns AKG. Um, so to me, like a thousand dollar OnePlus phone is, in the words of one of the great poets of the 20th century, Alanis Morissette, ironic. Don't you think? I mean, OnePlus was supposed to be the giant killer, and now they're like, the giant sloppy seconds. 
I'm sure it's a fine phone. I'm sure there's, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's going to be a fine phone, but I'll tell you what, I have no interest in owning one myself. I have no interest in, I have no interest in anything. I mean, it doesn't really have a Hasselblad. Does Hasselblad make a sensor that is that small? Like what, what Hasselblad camera would have that on there? Motorola had a Hasselblad like Moto Mod back in the day. Hasselblad has licensed their name before. Maybe they have some intellectual property that's in there as well. I don't know. Um, but it's not going it, to. It's lipstick on a pig. Okay. It's lipstick on a pig. Until I see photos that compete with the Pixel the iPhone, Samsung, until I see pixels out of a OnePlus camera that are as versatile, that are as, you know, like spot on good, not nine times out of 10 as those cameras can be, then I don't care what name you put on it. I don't care what name you put on it. It is lipstick on a pig. Okay. OnePlus has lost their way, lost their way. They... They can't, I mean, I don't assume they're selling very many of their Nord phones. I don't even, we've talked about this. Nord, does it, is it like, you know, North in Norwegian or something? I, I, they're not selling those. They're not going to sell very many of these in the United States because if I'm spending a thousand dollars, I'm going to buy a Samsung. If I'm spending a thousand dollars, I'm going to buy an iPhone. A thousand dollars for a one plus phone is... I mean, that's, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> Michael Pepper says, yeah, I'd love to sit down and talk about smartphone camera re reviews with you sometime. Uh, if you'd be interested. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. I mean, the thing, I mean, the thing is, and I think anybody who's watched the channel for a while knows that like, I'm not a big, I'm not a big camera geek. You know, there, there are people who do amazing jobs uh, uh, of covering smartphone cameras. Danny Winget, Michael, Michael, uh, what's his name? Michael, uh, yeah, that, that guy, Mr. Mobile. Yeah, that guy. Um, there are people who do amazing coverage of, of smartphone uh, cameras. And, and I, my litmus test for a smartphone camera is, can I like open the camera and coax a decent image out of it? Uh, without having to, um, without having to take the take the picture, a hundred like ten times, okay, and and so, I mean, I've really, so one of the things that's always driven me back to the iPhone, after trying a, a Samsung phone for a while, is that the Samsung phone could never be as reliably good as the iPhone camera, but. I've been taking pictures with the camera on this uh, S20 Ultra, S21 Ultra, and it has been fantastic. I, I've just been really impressed. Uh, some of the smart features of it, where it like can tell what scenario you're taking a picture in, and then it, like tries to help you out. That's actually been useful as opposed to annoying. Um, it's been it's been pretty, it's been a, a really good camera. And so, yeah, I'd be interested in like, now that I've taken a bunch of pictures with this, comparing some to the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, whatever. So yeah, Michael, that, may be, that, that might be a cool thing to do. Um, if you buy an S21 Ultra on Amazon, it's cheaper than the OnePlus 9 Pro. <coughs> oh my. Wow. Now, Carl Pye is gone from OnePlus. I, I didn't follow the story enough to really know why. But the, the value proposition of OnePlus was 90% of the flagship phone for 50% of the price. Now, 90% of the flagship phone for 95% of the price is not is not a uh, it's not a it's not a value proposition there's no reason to buy a OnePlus phone in 2021 when it costs a thousand dollars 
especially when you, you know that you can take, if you're a Samsung, Samsung person, you know, you can take whatever Samsung phone you're using, whatever iPhone you might have, you know, be using or whatever, you can take it and you can trade in and you can end up paying it like 60% or less of what this is, right? 60% or less than what this OnePlus phone costs. And can you trade in a OnePlus phone for, for like, you know, 40, 50% off? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. So. One plus phones have to probably be worth like this. As soon as you turn this phone on and walk out of the store, this phone's worth $500. So why? Why? I, I mean, just uh, this is like a fool in his money phone. This is a fool in his money phone. I'm sorry, but you know, it's one plus is one plus impressed me when they were able to do so much for so little. But now they do so little for so much that I, I just, I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't, no. And and the watch, eh, maybe. Um, 